Biotech giant CSL is gearing up to make 81 million doses of two potential coronavirus vaccines after signing deals with the government and an Oxford pharmaceuticals firm. CSL Chief Scientific Officer Andrew Nash joins me now from their Melbourne facility where both vaccines are going to be produced. Good morning, Andrew. Welcome to breakfast. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Now, they'll be produced if they all pass safety and, and it all goes ahead. How confident are you that that's going to happen? Look, um, we're in the middle of uh, a phase three study for the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine. Uh, so that's been through phase one. It's been shown to be safe at that level. Uh, the larger phase three study should confirm safety and efficacy. The University of Queensland vaccine is in the middle of a phase one study. So we're just looking at the safety of that vaccine at the moment. Is it a good move for the Australian government to make these arrangements with both of these possible vaccines? I mean, there's what, about 100 and more than 160 vaccines being trialled around the world. Should we actually spread our, spread our interest even wider? Look, uh, you're right, there are a lot of vaccines being trialled around the world. I think the Australian uh, government uh, has made a good decision. We've got two vaccines that, that we're um, betting on. I guess uh, if you look at both of them, they use different technologies. The Uni University of Queensland vaccine, together with CSL, uses a, a sort of tried and tested technology, a recombinant protein that's combined with an adjuvant to stimulate the immune response, and that's formulated into the vaccine. That's been used in many vaccines in the past and has been shown to be effective. The AstraZeneca uh, um, Oxford vaccine is a much newer technology. It's a viral vector technology, hasn't been used previously in commercial vaccines. So there is a little bit more risk there, but the results look promising so far. Lots of discussions about safety. We are rushing these vaccines, unlike anything we've seen before in the scientific and medical world. Uh, what do you say to people who raise questions marks about the speed at which this is happening? Look, I think um, the industry with uh, our academic colleagues and others have, have all collaborated very effectively uh, to bring these vaccines forward as quickly as we can. We're in a, a, an unprecedented situation. We need to respond quickly. I wouldn't say they're being rushed. I would say they're being moved forward as quickly as we can with all the caution that's necessary. So we're not compromising on safety. And if we get through these studies, the vaccines get uh, approved by the regulator, then I think the, the community can feel comfortable. So what's CSL doing right now to prepare itself? Well, uh, right now we're uh, in the middle of production of uh, material, the Uni University of Queensland vaccine for the phase two, three study. So out of our broad meadow site, that is ongoing right at the moment. Um, for the uh, production of the AstraZeneca vaccine, that's a different technology. So we have to retool our facility. So we are investing in the facility to ensure we can manufacture that vaccine appropriately. How big a challenge is it to basically, you know, be told, look, he, you may well get the recipe for these two vaccines and you just got to do it. Yep, uh, that's tough. They are two different vaccines, slightly different technologies. They do use the same underlying technology, though. So, um, you know, there are commonalities there. But as you say, 30 million do doses of one, uh, 50 million doses of another. It is a challenge for us, but um, we've looked very closely at it and all of our technical experts feel that we are capable of uh, delivering those doses. All right. I hope you're right. Andrew Nash, good luck with it. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Lisa.